yes. Three, two, one. Make sure you say we're fixed. Stay tuned. <laughs> Join us on this bushcraft adventure into history, building an Irish Celtic roundhouse from the Iron Age and medieval times. And stay tuned for the medieval living experience, continuously staying in the roundhouse for 60 days without smartphone, internet, or grocery store. Nice one. And only with historically accurate clothing and gear. Starting off in May, subscribe and turn on notifications. Enjoy! It's winter here, so we better get some logs in, dry them for a bit in the house and then make them into furniture this spring for living in the roundhouse. I don't know, you're the one carrying them. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. <laughs> oh, man. Rotten but partly good oak. They'll do nicely for wedges. We can make some buckets. Buckets? Yeah, you know, like the Cooper style. With the metal rings. You know the way they swell? You're going a bit crazy, my man. There's a nearly half a door. <laughs> Can always be straight or wood. It's even straight grain is not straight. No.
this good uh, distance? Not further out, I would say. Huh? Not further out. Or less, huh? I'd say in a, a bit if you can. Put it here, no. Mm -hmm. well, nobody be walking, be walking there, right? No, but you want a bit of clearance, like if you're carrying something, or, you know. What's this going to be, Julius? It's going to be the vegetable patch. <laughs> I'm afraid it's... It's a desperate attempt for some nature conservation. Smooth, smooth. <laughs> What do you made now, Dylan? Look at this beast! <laughs> oh! Oh! Won't you look at that? It's a bit overkill now for this job, Dylan, don't you think? Well, the soil is too soft, is it? Well, what do you think? It's something else now than I anticipated in my Boosker's career initially. <laughs> would you would you put it on your reser? Making a garden wasn't the first thing I'd plan now. No. But it looks good. Well, <laughs> yeah, I can't believe this thing came in handy again. Should the rake, man? What else would you be doing in the garden? <laughs> huh? We did it again this year, the reed harvest. We are harvesting reed at the same place as last year, so the quality is a lot better, as this new harvest doesn't contain any old stems anymore from earlier years. Nice. Yeah, maybe it should go a little bit, a bit higher. Okay, I better get the scallops. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, like this we end up with one big little fluffy piece of rotten on top of our roundhouse. Cut out all the fluff, so you have a plush with the frame and then a separate cap on top of this cap. Yes. <laughs> the cap off the cap. It gets more extensive and more extensive every... Before you know it, we're another six me meters up. <laughs>
The estimation is that this would last only four or five years. This is Gabriel, a woodworker, a lovely man. And he came all the way from Hawaii to help us out for a month with some craft projects. He is a carpenter, judging from that bushcraft tape measure at his trousers there. Thanks a million for your help, bro. Have you seen the hammer? Oh, you have it. So am I twisting enough now? Yes, yes, yeah beautiful, there she goes. And straight down. No, 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 no. keep twisting and down. Yeah, now the, together, yeah beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah. Try it on yourself. Go ahead, man. <laughs> That's got a bit of weight to it, huh? Yeah. Oh, she's nice and big, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, this is smooth. You can hang it. Look, we can oh. hang it. <laughs> From the other pole hit there. That is better. Yeah, okay. I have a moment of truth, eh? I think we're looking at 60, 70 kilo. Yeah. Make sure you hold some wood or a, yeah. or a corner pole. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> cool. I guess we'll leave her for now for a little bit. I just hope that we won't snag into it too much. Might be worth. Might be worth it. Um, a scallop. Maybe you still have. Smart fella. Maybe you still have some. They're all in there. In the shed. A couple of pinpoints lying down there. Oh, maybe. Yes. <laughs> Look at all. Probably not going anywhere. Probably not. Yeah, I have that thing rolling down, wiping us off our ladders. <laughs> Oh no, we def definitely have damage on the front. Or the ladder in the middle and someone holds it up on the front. Yeah, that, that is another good, good idea. But this one is pretty far off now that it will never touch it. Okay, nice.
we have quite some space now, huh? Yeah, I'd say we, we're good to go. Three, two, one. Uh, three, mm. two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah, we have to dive soon, I think. Oh, okay. So, so maybe. Three, two, one, and lift. Oh, <laughs> all those scallops. <laughs> That's nasty. Woo. Okay, little maintenance. Pierced by a few scallops. Okie doke. I guess we don't have much other choice than bring her, bring her up. Three, two, one. Your side has to be lifted up more, uh, Dylan. I can't. I'm maxed out. Everybody still comfortable? Alright, uh, great. I'm not doing anything anymore. It's tight. I don't know, man. I don't know if I can fit through here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go head first. <laughs> <clears throat> Better to slide down the, <laughs> the roof on this side. Three, two, one. Oh, Jesus. One. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I'm sliding down here. So make sure you say wee when you do it. Yeah. <laughs> wee! <laughs> that fun? Oh Jesus! She's completely torn apart. Oh. I think it looks great. We can sit, try and center the top a little more, but... <sighs> well, I'm not sure, man. Learn spray. Inside the, the old crow's nest, the, the top of the roundhouse is looking grim. The whole structure of the cap completely fell apart in the inside, the frame. Uh, design failures. The cap was really too heavy uh, and when we got her all the way up then just the frame the integrity of the frame was gone uh, maybe just one part of the frame broke and with that the wall frame kind of slowly came into pieces it looks grim she needs to be completely rebuilt How does it look, Dylan? Yeah, same taper as the rest, but... A bit small. <laughs> yeah. I think you had a great idea there, Dylan. We stick things in from the bottom, like all the all the stuff that came from the other one, the, the taller stuff, and that's basically it. And we just put some hazel sticks as a little frame in here. We'll raise the cap up a bit. Smoke going underneath it. All smooth fixed. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, back to the work. Okay, okay, let's go. So we might need to take a bit more off, do we? I know. Isn't it? 
isn't it? It's exactly on the scroll roll, man. Dylan, that slides down a lot. This one slides way too high. Too high. <laughs> you can't go through that, man. I'm gonna try it. came through that is unbelievable <sighs> but it was it was painful tune in next week for a new <laughs> roundhouse episode in which we finally finish the exterior of the roundhouse i'm full on preparing now for the 60 days medieval living experience in the roundhouse coming up soon consider supporting this project by becoming a patron <laughs>